So here we start defining equalizers. So you again fix a category C and uh, you have two arrows F and G from objects in the category say objects A and B. So let us write this down. We have these two arrows or two morphisms between two objects A and B of the category C. These two arrows are F and G. Then what is an equalizer? So equalizer is a pair So equalizer of FG, these two arrows, we also write equalizer as kernel of FG. So this is a pair K comma K where one K the first letter K is the object of the category is this pair. The first is the object of the category C and second K is the arrow or the morphism. Yeah, where we have the following two conditions. The first one is K is the object of the category C and second is K is an arrow such that we have the following. So you have K here, the morphism FG and we have the following equality. First apply K and then apply F is same as if you first apply K and then apply G. Now if there is another pair MM where M first M is the object of the category and second M is the arrow. So if you have another pair like this which satisfies the above two conditions. M is the object of the category and second is we have a similar diagram as above. So then there is, exists a unique morphism N from M to K. So there is a unique morphism or a unique arrow N which connects these two equalizers such that M is equal to K not N. So let us write this in the diagrammatic form. So let, first let us start with K. goes to A then there are two arrows out of it F and G you have M here small m here this is what we were talking about unique arrow N now the standard thing that uh, if it exists the equalizer of two morphisms is unique up to isomorphism. So I should say unique up to isomorphism. Isomorphism is, yeah, that is good enough. So you basically, standard trick, draw another arrow from K to M. If K is another pair, if both M and K are equalizers, then we have an arrow from M to K and also from arrow from K to N because K is also an equalizer and M is also an equalizer. We also have from M to M unique morphisms identity M and K to K unique morphism identity K. So since one M is unique, if you first apply N and then apply J, you again land up in M. So one M has to be equal to it because one M is unique similarly for one K. And such a condition between two objects K and N of the category such that you have maps between them N and J 
that we get such, such conditions 1m is equal to j not n and 1k is equal to n not j that shows unique up to isomorphism so that was the standard trick now we have if in a category c there are two arrows f and g and we have a equalizer like this then this k is a monomorphism now to show it is an equalizer you have to draw two arrows say u and v going into k and if we are given so we are given this following thing k not u is equal to k not v then u is equal to v so we have to show this u is equal to v now you can already see that we are going to use uniqueness so what is c to a the c to a we can write as k not u or k not v so we are given that they are both equal so you have a morphism so now think of c as object m drawn above and the small m as k not u now we said in the diagram there is a unique n yeah so this n is unique this unique n so we have to have some uniqueness here so you have u equals to v because this is unique and that is what we had to show so that is it so now we want to talk about co-equalizers so co-equalizer you do nothing you just reverse the arrows and what you get is a co-equalizer now equalizers are really important uh, we use them to define sheaves and uh, this will come up later so you reverse arrows and you call this as co-kernel of f comma g yeah that is it so we want to define the notion of pullbacks and pushouts so consider two morphisms say f and g in a category c so you fix a category c and you pick up two arrows f and g yeah f takes a to c and g takes b to c so we want to know what a pullback of f comma g is so pullback is nothing but a triple so pullback is a triple uh, it is uh, first element is p which is the object of the category and f prime and g prime are arrows in the category c so where we have one p is an object of the category and then we have these two arrows f prime second is we have these two arrows f prime and g prime f prime takes p to a and g prime takes sorry f prime takes p to b and g prime takes p to a so both these are arrows in c or morphisms of c such that this holds f not g prime is g not f prime so let us draw this so you have f here b here so now we 
uh, show what a product uh, this uh, pullback P is. So pullback is a triple. We write P as object of C and then we have these two arrows F prime and G prime. And this diagram which I have drawn is commutative. So if there is another triple say for any other triple with Q F double prime and G double prime where we again copy what we had above Q is an object in the category we have exactly the similar arrows as F prime and G prime now we have F double prime taking Q to B and G double prime taking Q to A and such that we also have the equality F naught G double prime is equal to G naught F double prime yeah by now you would have guessed what I'm going to say next that there is a unique morphism Q the small Q which takes object Q to P yeah such that this following holds and G double prime is equal to G prime composed with Q. So when this exists the pullback of two arrows is unique up to unique isomorphism. Yeah, This is uh, we will sh uh, it is shown analogously to what we did in previous slide. So let us draw it out what we just have written. So you go from Q to B through F double prime, Q to A via G double prime and then you say there exists a unique morphism right here which we write as Q. So yeah, so the pullback when it exists is unique up to isomorphism. So let me write this down and the proof is precisely the same. You will draw an arrow from P to Q and then you will say 1P is unique and uh, you will say 1Q is unique and fill in the equalities. So that is, uh, yeah, that is it. So the dual notion of pullback is push outs. So basically you just uh, copy the same definition and reverse the arrows. Uh, what you get is a push out.